a bunch of times. Fire fries. And these are, they say new. Um, in, what? In fairy, fairy, how do you say that? Inferno. Inferno. I said I could talk. So anyways, we're going to try these out. And Shaver is with us, so he's going to help us out. I bought them really for him, but we're going to do a video each together. And I'm going to see if I like them, and he'll see if he likes them. Something different. Okay. We'll be back. on here. I don't know if she wants to show. She can show her. Sure. I've okay. got my I've got my phone here, so I'm trying to see if it's backwards. I don't know if you can see that. I think I don't think they see it backwards though. You might No, I'm they, saying I don't know if they can see this thing. Mm -hmm. Here I'll bring it up to them. People like to read the, the nutrition facts. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm going to check, show hers. Thank you. You see them? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So, now that that's out of the way, we're going to open these up. Mm-hmm. Got some mixed reviews, but, well, not really. I mean, everybody pretty much was thinking the same thing, which the... They said they was all right. They was uh, comparing them to those handicap fries. Remember, I bought them before. Mm -hmm. Took a while to find them down here. I finally found them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they was comparing them to them, kind of. Um, they said they're not really hot, but everybody's pretty much give them a, a three point five out of five stars. So they're, eh. mm -hmm. you know, they're okay, but they're not their favorite. So we'll see what these are going to be like. Well, I thought it was interesting and always trying to find new things for him. So. It, says, it says rip here. Okay. Oh, okay. They smell like, they smell like a Ooh. bad motel room. Ooh, not a very nice smell They smell at all. like a bad. That's horrible. It smelled like a motel room that had just been cleaned and cleaned and cleaned because it needed cleaned and... It smells like smelly feet to me. I was going to say that. It smells like... <laughs> smelly feet. It smells like smelly feet. Yummy. Well, here, you get in there and get you one. Mm, maybe I wish I never bought these. And we'll dink them up and see. Mm, that's I don't like the smell like. of them. They smell nothing. Yeah, they're little. They smell yeah. nothing like... Um, nothing good. Well, they smell not like a Slim Jim, but I guess they're not supposed to be. It's they're fried, you know. It's not supposed to be meat. It's supposed to be fried. <laughs> yeah, but it could smell nicer. Dink them. Dinky dink. Dinky dink. Dinky dink. Wow. Mmm. Actually, the flavor is nice. Not bad. A lot better than it smells. Heck yeah. Like one guy said, uh, yeah. he said they thought he was doing it with his son. He said they, they said they thought it was, uh, they were trying to get the meat flavor, some, some of the meat flavor into it, which is good because they are Slim Jims. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're not super duper hot by any means, but yeah, they're not bad. I don't think. They, they taste better than they smell. Once you taste it, you go, mm, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Always do mine zero to ten because there's a lot of variables. Um, what do you think, Monk? Zero to ten. Um, I give uh, uh, I give uh, it a five. Five? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a. Because the smell is horrible. If I had to eat these just by the smell, I would not eat them. But I'll tell you what, they do taste fine. They taste good. I was trying to see what kind of seasoning was in here. They got onion powder. Yeah, it's all pretty much. And garlic like powder soup. and paprika extra. Yeah. Tracked. Extra. Well, you can taste the paprika, but mm -hmm. I give it a 6.5. Yeah. I mean, 
And there's other spices. To me, average is five out of ten. Oh, it's did. a little more than average. Yeah, they're they're little okay. Little yeah. You take a few of these well, and you're going to cook it. It's not really a kick, but, mm -hmm. well, I mean, it's, no, it's not inferno, but they are good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll give it a two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. They are pretty good. We'll finish this bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. There you go. Slim Jim Fire Fries. Mm -hmm. I also said they had something else. Wow. Flavored Potato Snacks Inferno. They had something else they said on there. Uh, different. And Dare to Feel the Fury. Get fired up. Follow us. Almost out. Oh, Buffalo Fury. Ooh. If I find those, I'll get them. Yeah, I'll bet yeah. those would be good. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I like them. I mean, I like them more than what the other guys reviewed them as. Yeah, where I, I found them, right. I got them at Winn-Dixie. And they were with the Slim Jims. Now, if you don't like spicy and stuff, you won't like them. Because to you, though, to me, they're not spicy. There's a little heat. Mm -hmm. So, you may not like them. But if you like heat, but every once in a while you want something mild, I compare that to... Say a mild chicken wing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's not too hot, but but there is a little heat there. Mm -hmm. The flavor's good. I mean, the smell at first I was like, oh my god. It's Nobody said horrible. anything really about the smell. They mm -hmm. just. Uh, but now that I've tried them. Yeah. It's it does still smell the same, but it smells bad. but they taste great. I mean. They taste... It must be all the seasonings together yeah. that's making yeah. that smell. That's well, I mean, thinking. open up a bag of cheddar cheese fries. They stink. Mm -hmm. They stink, but they're good. Yeah. That's the way these are. You know what? I'm going to up it to a seven. I'm going to up it to a seven. I, yeah, these are pretty good the more I eat. Yeah, because you get... It stays in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're still getting that fire in your mouth. So you can the taste the you paprika. Mm -hmm. You can taste a little garlic. Yeah, you can. I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven with two thumbs up. Yeah. You stick with your, what you, would you say it was? Five. Five, you stick with five? I'll stay with the five, but I, I, they're good. I mean, would I buy them again for me? Probably not. For him, yeah, he would eat them. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want to get them once a week, because I, I don't want to. I don't like getting burnt out on stuff. Right. But a couple times a month would be like. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to have for something different. I like them. So, like I said, two thumbs up, yeah. seven out of ten. She said five. Mm -hmm. Does it get two thumbs up, though? Yeah. So, it's a two thumbs up. So, to you, they're just, they're average. Yeah, yeah. I think they're a little above average, yeah. but, you know, everybody's taste is different. So, anyway, guys. Yep. So, I was going to say something. Uh, about these or yeah I was going to say if anybody has had these and what their thoughts were so you could write it down you in got the these? comments below and, yeah. and we'd, Same here, yeah. we'd be interested in knowing you know what y'all think you got about. these where? I got them at Winn Dixie and they were with the um, beef jerkies and stuff how much were they? they were like a little pricey like three fifty nine. okay well alright I'll go back down to 6.5 because that's that to me is a little pricey, but anything Slim Jim is, is 2.75 ounces, 78 grams. Yeah. So I will knock it down, back down to 6.5 because I think that's just too much. It is for the size of the bag. I, I think 250 would be would be fair for yeah. this. Maybe even 275, but not three dollars and over. No, not a, a, anything. I mean, that's mm -hmm. only 2.75 ounces, which is 78 grams. It's just I mean, you know, you, you can buy them big party bags of stuff for three bucks. Well, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, granted, it is a Slim Jim, right. but it's not a Slim Jim. I mean, it's no. made by Slim Jim. There's no meat. They're good, it. but they're not. They're not like. No, I thought they were packaged. a little pricey, but I wanted to yeah. something different for him. So I thought, well, we do a video on this and see how we like it, and and go from there. And sometimes, you know, you, you see sales and you might pick it up when it's on yeah, sale. Because, yeah, because, uh, you know, not everybody just go buy these. And, and uh -uh. We're not, I mean, we can't. No. <laughs> no, like, we're, I'm not going to buy these once a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not even once a month, probably. Mm -mm. But just once in a while for yeah. a treat. That's just too much money, you know. Yeah. For me, so. It is. 
All right, guys. So you gonna do your outro? Yeah. Anything so else? nope, I don't okay. think so. Anything with you? You getting excited that we're gonna put the paint down tomorrow? Yeah, put the bait, paint down tomorrow on the boat. Yeah. Want to shoot it with the spray gun if the spray gun works? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it will make it easier, anyways. Yeah. It'll be a lot easier than it'll look better than rolling it. The bottom, I really don't care about. It's the sides, like the blue. Yeah, yeah. That I really do want to spray because, yeah. you know. Well, if we have to, maybe we can afford to buy a new one. That's They're not right. that much. And then that way we do it right. Because I really want this boat to look nice. Yeah, the bottom, I really don't care. You know. You don't see it. You don't go see no, it. No, but the sides. And then we're going to put the little carpet in the in the indoor-outdoor carpet inside. we got some lights and ordered. we got some lights ordered uh -huh. on it. Yeah. So, got some rollers for the, I'll show you how to put them on for the trailer. Yeah. So that way when we, when I, when I run that thing right up on the trailer, it's going to automatically settle itself right on the bunks. And make it easier. Anything sometimes, to make our life easier. Yeah, sometimes if the wind's blowing or, especially if you got the top up, yeah. or if the current's kind of heavy, it's hard to get it straight. We get as close as we can, and then when we get it up onto the, uh, the staging area when we're strapping it down and stuff sometimes we'll get to try to lift the back of that boat over yeah. because it's a little too far one way or the other yeah it gets excuse a little... me we won't have to do that anymore but that's you know gonna be i mean it's not hard yet. to do that but it's stressful on him if he doesn't have yeah. to do anything like that then it's better for him so we try to make yeah. it easy for so, him so so you know we got a little bit of work coming up there but yeah. anyways stay tuned for more boat videos so. Yep. So, Monkey says she's out for now, y'all, and uh, stay tuned. we got more videos on the boat coming up, so we'll have many, many more. Yep. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear and Mr. Man Legend. We're gone for now, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. So, bye, Monkey's fans. And Monkey says she's out for now, and bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>